Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, it's been about two and a half weeks now since my birthday and my wonderful wife actually bought me a couple things that I've had on my list for quite a long time and I decided now would be a good time to unbox those for you and let you know what, what I, she gave me. Um, so the first thing she gave me was the Queen 40. This is their 40th anniversary. This is their first five albums in one collection here and then she also got me the volume two which is their next five albums so I've had these on my my wish list for quite a long time and then since she got me volumes one and two there was just one volume left so I decided to pick that up myself and we have volume three here with their last five albums now I believe uh, when this originally came out, there was a, actually a 30 CD box set with, that contained everything that you have here in one complete box set. But then I don't know if it was at the exact same time these individual sets were released or not, but uh, it's nice to have this. This is for their, as you can see there, for their 40th anniversary. So this would be uh, 2011. So these have been out there for quite a while. And I was reading a lot of the reviews on Amazon and different other places. And everybody seemed to be giving them five stars. They say the sound quality is the best they've ever heard. So um, it was really high up on my list to get these. So prior prior to getting these, all I've had from Queen was just some greatest hits collections. So it'll be nice to actually get their albums all in one place here now and dive deeper into their catalog. So let's take a closer look. That's what the box looks like. And on the back, we got this stuck here. Uh, it looks like each each collection here comes with a bonus poster. And this is just kind of glued on there with a little sticky, but uh, the same logo on the back. So we'll take these out and take a look at what we got here. So first of all, we got, take a look at the bonus poster. first album we have is their self-titled Queen. Uh, sorry for the glare. And now each of these is a two two disc set. Um, it's got the the original album on one one CD and then on the second CD there's just a bonus EP with some other bonus tracks. Take a look at the book here if I can get it out. I won't go through every every booklet here, but we got some lyrics, some photos. So yeah, that kind of gives you an idea of how these how these are all put together. So. In the interest of time, I won't be showing any more of the booklets. All right, the next one we have is Queen 2. And one thing I find that's interesting here right off the bat is apparently that's in Upside Down. <laughs> yeah, there we have the CDs. So that's easy enough. We'll just pop this out and flip it around. There we go. Alright, and then next up we have Queen Sheer Heart Attack. Oh, sorry for the glare. It's... There we go. Next we have Queen, A Night at the Opera.
And then for some reason, the last CD is in sh uh, shrink wrap, so I'll have to open that up here. Kind of weird that they'd have just one in shrink wrap like that, but... There's uh, Day at the Races. All right, so that's volume one of the box sets. Now we'll move on to volume two here. Take the shrink off here. So again, it's basically the same, just a different color here. Uh, we got white. And this one's actually not glued on, it's just in the shrink wrap. Okay, so we'll take a look at what's included here. And we'll start off with the, the bonus poster. There. All right. So first we have News of the World. Jazz. Get the track listing there. Now this is the album that kind of got me into Queen in the beginning. Uh, I've Owned this on vinyl. This is the first vinyl record that I got by Queen, and I pretty much liked every song that's on this album. So from there, I kind of got a bunch of the greatest hits collections, but now I finally got all the actual albums here, so that's good. And here we have the original soundtrack to the movie Flash Gordon. Um, I actually caught part of this movie on TV maybe a month or so ago, and it is kind of a weird movie. I thought <laughs> I didn't I didn't even watch the whole thing. It was it was just really kind of bizarre, but the music was good. And the last one for this set is Hot Space. Alright, now let's move on to the last one, Volume 3. Alright, so here's the front. Okay, so the first one in this set is The Works. And here we have A Kind of Magic. Now 
this case was broken already, so that's nice. <laughs> uh, it's an easy fix, just get a new jewel case and we'll be good to go. Uh, next up we have the Miracle. Here we have innuendo. Not real familiar with these last couple albums here. And the last, oh, we got. The poster was in between a couple of CDs here, so we'll show that quick. Go the other way. And the last one, I believe this was a posthumous album uh, released after Freddie Mercury had passed away. It's titled Made in Heaven. So oh, there you have it, uh, the Queen 40th Anniversary box sets from 2011. Uh, it'll be really interesting to give these a listen. Like I said, I've heard uh, really good reviews on, on this, on the sound quality and everything. So I'll head over to my computer and rip them to there and get them, get them listened to right away. So <laughs> thanks everybody for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.